Hey, it's Leo and I'm here with a video on how to clean your cartridges out for a P5000, 4900, 4880, 48 series, uh, or 4000s. So these are for the Epsons. Um, this one here is for 4900 and P5000. Um, they all have a nipple here that goes into the machine. Currently, I have piezo flush in here because I use this to store my machine. Uh, when I'm going on vacation, right now it's uh, almost Christmas, so I'm getting ready to store my uh, P5000 before I go ahead and um, go on vacation. So let's go ahead and start talking about how to store your machine or get these cartridges cleared out if you have ink in them. So let's say if I had this one, um, this can be the same thing. So I'm just going to do it on uh, the 4880 cartridge. So each cartridge will have the air plugs. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove those. Okay, and everybody, all these cartridges have a nipple on the front where the ink comes through into the machine. This part right here is removable. Okay, so we can usually slide it off just like this. There is a silicone gasket underneath, a ball bearing, and then a spring. Okay, you can see it usually on the side here. All right. So when you do this, be very careful. Have your finger ready to push down onto the silicone seal. Slide this out. We're gonna clean this out. So I would clean this out before I put this back. So the silicone seal is right there. So you wanna make sure you let it out very slowly. Okay, there's the silicone seal. There's a ball bearing. And there is a spring inside there. You can take the spring out also, okay? So, I'm just gonna put that there, make sure we don't lose that. Go ahead and take the spring out. There is the spring, okay? Don't lose none of this stuff. You can make sure you clean all that because usually when you have ink in there, it'll be all covered with ink and stuff. So clean all that out. Now the front is free and clear to let fluid come through very easily. So you go ahead and put water in here Okay, I usually put a finger here and finger on top, close these off, swash it around, and then drain it out this way. And all ink and water will come out. Do that until it's completely clean, okay? And then I would take this cartridge, hold it, and flick it around and try to get all the water out of this cartridge, okay? When you've done everything you can, I usually just tilt it like this towards the back holes here, filler holes and just leave it overnight and let it dry, okay? It's not recommended to put, have water in the cartridge with ink. Um, so try to get it as dry as possible, maybe blow some air in there, let it dry out, but that's how you go ahead and put it back. Uh, that's how you do it. So when it's all dry, go ahead and put your spring back in first. Spring goes back in, then your ball bearing, okay? Be very careful and make sure you put the um, silicone gasket back in the same way it came out. Usually there's a taper and the taper goes into the cartridge. Okay. And you just put the cap back on and you are good to go. Okay. Make sure you put your plug back in. Go ahead and fill your carts with piezo flush or ink, whatever you're doing. If you're storing, use piezo flush. Do not recommend anything else. Um, you can go to our store. I'll put a link at the bottom for our store. We, have, we do sell cartridges, piezo flush, ink, um, and whatever you need for your uh, 4800s, uh, 4880s, or 4900, or P5000s. We do specialize in uh, P5000s and the 4 Series printers, uh, large format 13 to 17 inch printers for DTF. Um, so we will have all those supplies, powder, film, ink, uh, and dampers and all this type of stuff to make sure these printers are always running and uh, making you money. So uh, remember to follow, like, and subscribe us to our channel and um, stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.